Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmaso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly. Email tmaso at thewatchbox.com for pricing. Today, we are discussing a beloved 2011 limited edition of 250 pieces. This is the Audemars Piguet Jules Audemars Stad Classic Chrome. Chronograph, and it represents the best of modern Audemars Piguet dress complication design. So, in grade 5 titanium, this case measures 41 millimeters in diameter, 12.8 millimeters thick, and 47.5 millimeters from lug to lug, with a broad and modern 22 millimeter spacing between the lugs. You can see there's a little bit of rose gold garnishing, the start stop pusher of the chronograph, as well as on the dial side. Being grade 5 titanium and sapphire, this case wears easily on my 16 centimeters circumference wrist. Visually, it's not as massive as the Code 1159. Even though the 1159 is similar in thickness and in diameter, somehow this just seems smaller and better proportioned than the Code. I like the Code, but I love this. In fact, I've never found anyone who doesn't love this watch, leading me to wonder whether this should have been the template for AP dress watches going forward. It's low enough to fit underneath a dress cuff, and on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, there's a little bit of clearance on both sides, so you could probably wear this watch on a wrist as small as 14 centimeters circumference. The strap is custom made for the model. As you can see, it is a dark brown, contrast stitched, calfskin leather strap. So there is some bolstering to give it thickness. You can see it uses a curved spring bar so that the strap has no impediment to its motion here. Uh, the curved spring bar results in the lugs being drilled very close to the case. So the pivot center between the two pivots, the two spring bars, is actually further inboard of the lug edge, which makes it easy to wear this watch on a small wrist. We have a grayish blue, maybe slate blue, cross-hatching stitch, and then the binding stitch on the edge is a sort of ecru or off-white that matches nicely to the rose gold tones of the dial. We have here a combination satin finished and media blasted, AP single fold logo style deployant clasp. It is a snapshot that is friction fit. We have a case that includes a combination of polish and satination. You can see the satination on the case band is longitudinal. It's vertical on the lug flanks. The lugs have a teardrop profile when viewed from the side. And you can see that the lugs were actually welded to the case, made separately from the case, then inserted into slots, then welded, then hand finished to remove evidence of the welded joint. This is a very traditionally hand finished case, not easy to do in grade five tie. You can see that the bezel is all of high polish, but it's slightly stepped in from the case flank to give the watch the impression of being thinner and lighter than it is. There's a narrow vertical step to the bezel, and then it has a conical profile. We have knurled shoulders that provide sheared guard protection for the chronograph pushers. So we have the stop, start, reset action. The rose gold is your start and your stop. We have a crown with an AP logo that is slightly knurled on its size to match the knurling of the sheer guards of the chronograph pushers. On the dial, we have outboard a tachymeter. This watch is named after the Stad Classic, which is a vintage auto rally, and Audemars Piguet for many years was the sponsor, and they would issue annual Stad Classic limited editions, of which this is easily my favorite. So you have that silver satin brushed finish to the tachymeter outboard. That can be used in conjunction with the chronograph to gauge the speed of an object over, for example, a kilometer. We have a combination of silver anthracite dial center, rose gold garnishing, and red highlights on this dial. The center dial features a vertical satination and an anthracite metallic tone. We have two sunken sub-registers with concentric patterns inboard for reading the constant seconds and chronograph minutes. You can see that the hands are palm or apple style for the hour, and then assegai or spear shaped for the minute. We have a red varnished chronograph seconds hand with a little bob that is skeletonized at one end as the counterweight. We have that same bob in rose gold as the counterweight to the chronograph minutes display. Note that the bob counterweight is solid on the constant seconds. We have applique rose gold, 18 karat vertically aligned Arabic numerals, and a few well-chosen splashes of red around the dial. The watch is a no date, which means it's nice and clean and symmetrical with a classical two register chronograph design. Turn it all over, you can see the graphics, the logo of the Stad Classic for the 2011 model you can see the individual 
numbering here. This is number 212 of 250. The case back is handsome, reminding you that this is a limited edition from Audemars Piguet. It's not an offshore. It's not a code. It's a beautiful example of AP watchmaking in the dress watch paradigm. Taking a quick look at the movement, you can see it's very similar to the 3126 you'll see on the back of a Royal Oak offshore. This is actually the 3124, which mates with a Dubois de Praz manufactured 3841 vertical clutch chronograph module. So let's talk real quick about the specs of this movement. 59 joules, automatic winding, 55 to 60 hour power reserve. It has hacking or stop seconds, a full balance bridge and a free sprung balance with a winding rotor bearing, all those features for shock tolerance. It beats away at 21,600 vibrations per hour. And you can see that it features ceramic rotor bearings for high efficiency winding and minimal maintenance. The finishing is a combination of manual and mechanical execution, which is common on Audemars Piguet watches. All of this is 30 meters water resistant. You can see the rotor in gold includes the coats of arms of the Audemars and Piguet families to remind you that Audemars Piguet is the oldest continuously family owned and run watchmaker inside of Switzerland. And that is an impressive boast as many of these companies, such as Patek Philippe and Vacheron Constantin has been through innumerable hands in their long histories. Audemars Piguet, since 1875, just one set of founding families. Reach out to Timasso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.